in the year gate 2007 another question came on the page replacement so that is a very witty question and very interesting so now how to solve this particular question see at first we are reading the question the address sequence generated by tracing a particular program executed in a pure demand paging system with 100 bytes of page that means each page can hold 100 bytes of information so that is the page size and these are the addresses have been referred during the execution of a program 100 200 430, 499, 510, 430, 160, 120, 220, 240, 260 and 410. So, these are the addresses have got referenced. Suppose that the memory can store only one page at a time. That means number of frame will be equal to 1. And if x is the address which causes a page fault then the bytes from the address it is very important from the address x to x plus 99 are loaded onto the memory that means the address which is causing a page fault from that very address to that address plus 99 that amount of data we are having 100 bytes of uh, page size so it is also 100 bytes because x plus 0 to x plus 99 so 100 locations are there and that amount of data will be loaded onto the computer's memory how many page faults will occur so very interesting question this one so let me solve it in front of you i have written only this addresses i have written in the answer i shall go in fresh so whenever you see that is only one frame is this one that is only one frame i am having okay so now whenever that very address is referred it is not there in the memory so i shall load a page starting from 100 to 199 so it has got loaded now the next address has been called this one it has just missed it because it is 0199 and it is 0200 so again i should have to load that one so 0200 to 0299 will get loaded so another page fault has occurred now 430 430 is not falling in this range so another page fault will occur so 430 to 529 so 430 to 529 that amount of memory's content is now in the frame now 499 499 is falling in this zone so that is no need to that is no need to fetch a new page now 510 is it is also falling in this particular range so for the 510 there is no need to bring a new page so it is a page hit so now 530 530 has just missed it just missed the limit so i shall load this 530 to 06 to 9 up to that so 530 has been handled now 560 is falling in this range so I need not to load any page so it is a page hit now 120 it is quite a very uh, small page number so now with a reference so it will be this one and then I shall go to 228 I shall go for 228 if we add 100 it will become it will become 229 so minus 1 because it is 99 so it will become 228 okay so that has been loaded so i have considered this one i think okay now 220 for 220 there is no need to load any page 240 220 is there but 240 is outside so i shall go for 240 240 plus this so 340 so 339 so it has been considered now 260 is falling in this range 260 is falling in this range now 320 320 is again falling in this range so it is page hit it is not page fault now 410 410 means you know that it is outside of this limit so now 0410 to 05 that is 105109 so it will get loaded up to this 
so now it has got loaded so how many times the page fault has occurred how many times seven times one two three four five six seven so the answer will be seven yes i'm getting one option seven so in this way the problem can be solved you see i have i have shown you the board work i have done the problem solving in front of you i am writing in front of you putting the ticks writing this one i know that the number of times i shall write it will denote the page fault so in my case i didn't keep the trace of the page fault because their counting will be the page fault so in this way the problem has been solved so if such question comes that means it is there coming to so that you can get the marks you can get the full marks out of those questions do the rough work very carefully and put the right trick put the right tick on the uh, record option i think you have got the logic thanks for watching this video